Hi boys and girls. We've got a fun activity today. We're going to make snowflakes and find symmetry. We're going to do that using coffee filters. And so we're going to need coffee filters, scissors, pencil, and a ruler. Now, before we start, I want to remind you what symmetry is. We want to remember that symmetry is when you fold or draw a line through something and both parts look exactly the same. Notice this flag. It has two lines of symmetry. This scallop shell only has one. A human body, people, we only have one. This one has one, two, three, four. So there are different um, number of lines of symmetry depending on what your item is that you're looking at. So to start, we're going to take our coffee filter, our white coffee filter, and we're going to fold it in half. So here it is in half. If we open it up, we see that we have two pieces. I'm going to fold this one more time. And now this is one quarter. Again, if we open it up, we see I've got one, two, three, four pieces out of this hole. Now, I'm going to fold one more time. Here's my quarter. So this is an eighth. And again, if I open this up, there would be eight folds. So this almost kind of has a cone look to it, but we know that cones have round bottoms and that they're 3D, so it's really not, but it kind of looks like it. So the next step, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to put some cuts into this. I like to do mine at the top first. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to cut a little triangle out of the top. You'll note I'm getting going to have a lot of little flakies. And then here on one side, I'm going to cut another one like this. Now I'm going to want you to cut yours the same way for the first time, for your first snowflake. Now I'm going to cut here. I'm going to put two on this side just to make it different. So it's kind of create a little more creative looking. So when I'm done, this is what it looks like. I have two cuts, two little triangle cuts here, one on top or on the big spot, and then one on this side. So I want to get these out of the way. Don't forget to recycle. And now I'm going to open up my snowflake and look, here it is. So let's check out and see if we have lines of symmetry. I'm seeing it. Your next step then is to take your ruler and draw a line on your snowflake a little gently. Maybe a crayon or a red pen. So you can mark your line of symmetry. Do you see? And I'll do one more on this one. You'll do this to find as many lines of symmetry as you can. And of course you can work together. So here I have this, and I bet there's more on here. I bet you can find more. Now, after you've completed this and you've found all the lines of symmetry, the next job is going to be to get a new filter, again, one that hasn't been cut yet, brand new one. And then we're going to fold it again just the same way we did the last time, in half, in quarters, and then in eighths. So we've got this same shape. Now, you get to pick how you want to cut this. 
and I have one that I did and I cut it like this. I thought since we just had Valentine's Day I'd kind of make mine sort of like Valentine's Day. See I've got hearts on mine and then I have this scallopy edge. So after you create your own then you're gonna lay it down and you're gonna check for lines of symmetry. I see that I have right here a line of symmetry. Again, you need to be a little careful when you're marking. Could you cut the metal out? I think you could. It might be kind of fun to see how that turns out. But So I mark my line of symmetry and then you're going to create your own and you're going to see how many lines of symmetry you can create on your very own. And remember to have fun.